totally awesome or totally frightening. Look at this. China's military has released this video of a four-legged robot marching through a field with an automatic rifle mounted on its back. Imagine a world where man's best friend isn't just loyal. It's armed and ready for combat. Sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, it's not. China's military has just unveiled its latest weapon, robot dogs equipped with automatic rifles. And here's the kicker. They might already be more advanced than anything the U.S. military has. Today, we're diving into the rise of China's robotic canines, how they're changing modern warfare, and what this means for the future of global military dominance. Let's get into it. During recent joint military exercises with Cambodia, China showcased its latest innovation, a robot dog armed with an automatic rifle. This mechanical marvel isn't just a showpiece. It's designed to replace human soldiers in urban combat. According to Chinese state media, these robot dogs can conduct reconnaissance, identify enemies, and even strike targets with precision. But this isn't the first time we've seen these robotic canines in action. Back in 2022, Chinese defense company Kestrel Defense released a video of a robot dog being airdropped onto a rooftop armed with a light machine gun. And earlier this year, the Chinese researchers claimed their robot dogs could outshoot trained sharpshooters. It's clear that China is pushing the boundaries of what these machines can do. Stairs, hopping, and moving through rough terrain, doing all sort of things. These robot dogs aren't just deadly, they're incredibly versatile. They can navigate complex terrain, climb stairs, and even lie down to avoid detection. In urban combat scenarios where every corner could hide an enemy, these machines could be a game-changer. What's even more impressive is how quickly China has advanced this technology. While the US has been experimenting with robot dogs for years, China seems to have leapfrogged ahead, focusing on weaponizing these machines for real-world combat scenarios. It's a stark reminder of how fast the global arms race is evolving. Now let's talk about the US. The American military has been experimenting with robot dogs for years. Companies like Boston Dynamics and Ghost Robotics have developed quadrupedal robots for reconnaissance, logistics, and even base security. But here's the thing. The U.S. has been hesitant to weaponize these machines. In 2020, the U.S. Air Force tested robot dogs as part of its advanced battle management system, using them to secure airfields and detect threats. More recently, the Marine Corps has been experimenting with robot dogs equipped with remote weapon systems. But unlike China, the U.S. has been cautious about turning these machines into killing machines. So, why the difference? Some experts believe it's a matter of philosophy. The U.S. military has traditionally focused on using robots for support roles, like carrying gear or inspecting dangerous areas. China, on the other hand, seems to be all in on weaponizing these machines. And that's where things get interesting, and a little scary. But let's not forget, the US isn't completely behind. The Pentagon has been testing armed robot dogs too. In fact, the Marine Corps Special Operations Command MARSOC recently revealed it was experimenting with adding mounted gun systems to its robot dogs. The difference is that the US is still in the experimental phase, while China appears to be deploying these machines in real-world exercises. Drone warfare has already changed the game in conflicts like Ukraine, where cheap remotely controlled drones have taken out tanks and warships. Robot dogs could take this to the next level. Imagine a swarm of these machines infiltrating a city, conducting reconnaissance, and engaging targets, all without risking human lives. But there's a darker side to this technology. As Peter W. Singer, a strategist at New America, puts it, Almost every advancement made with AI and robotics in the civilian economy is being mirrored on battlefields. In other words, the same tech that powers your robot vacuum could one day power a robot soldier. And here's the twist. These robot dogs aren't just for the military. In China, they're becoming a common sight in cities, where they're used as companions, security guards, and even delivery bots. But as we've seen, it's a short leap from civilian use to military application. This dual-use nature of robotics is both fascinating and terrifying. On one hand, it shows how versatile these machines can be. 
On the other hand, it raises serious questions about how easily this technology could be weaponized by non-state actors or rogue nations. Of course, the rise of armed robot dogs raises some serious ethical questions. Should we be putting guns on machines that can operate autonomously? What happens if these machines fall into the wrong hands? And how do we ensure they're used responsibly? These aren't just hypothetical questions. In 2023, China's Commerce Ministry imposed export controls on drone technology, citing national security concerns. But as we've seen, once this tech is out there, it's hard to put the genie back in the bottle. Even U.S. lawmakers are worried. Last month, Congress inserted language into the annual defense authorization bill requiring the Pentagon to assess the threat posed by China's rifle-toting robot dogs. It's clear that this isn't just a military issue, it's a global one. The ethical implications go beyond just warfare. If we start relying on machines to make life and death decisions, what does that say about us as a society? Are we comfortable with machines taking on roles that were once reserved for humans? These are questions we'll need to answer sooner rather than later. So, where do we go from here? Some experts believe we're only at the beginning of this robotic arms race. As AI and robotics continue to advance, we could see even more sophisticated machines on the battlefield. Machines that can think, adapt, and maybe even make decisions on their own. But here's the big question. Can we keep up? China's rapid development of armed robot dogs suggests they're pulling ahead in this race. And if the U.S. wants to stay competitive, it might need to rethink its approach to military robotics. One thing's for sure, the future of warfare is here, and it's walking, or rather trotting, on four legs. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing depends on how we choose to use this technology. What do you think about China's robot dogs? Are they a game changer or just another step in the evolution of military tech?